from Newsnet and CCTV, it's High School Hockey, coming to you from the WEX in Cadillac. Welcome back, everybody, to the WEX and second period action. Jeff Castillo along with Bill Dooley bringing you the action, and the Vikings are just getting onto the ice. Uh, Jeff, let's catch up a little bit with some uh, Viking hockey. We've got some games coming up here. How about uh, telling us a little bit about that? All right, well, they're playing Davison tonight. Tomorrow they have a big north, uh, big, big game against Alpena. Uh, coming which to is town. Which date? So people know that's January 25th. That'll be yep. That'll be January 25th. Uh, that one is a noon start time uh, against Alpena, which is uh, you know it's kind of odd. We've always had them maybe like on a Friday night or something like that. So uh, we will not be broadcasting that game. And then next week we have a makeup game against Tawas on uh, the 29th. 29th. And the 31st, which would be a Friday night, they're playing um, Matawan coming to town. So yep. they've got uh, about four games here coming up in the next seven days. A lot, of, a lot of hockey for the Vikings. All right, we're underway for second period action. No score, Vikings and the Cardinals. LaFontaine, number six, and we got a clock that's not set and not ready to go. So uh -oh. none of that happened, Jeff. Yeah, that's... Just uh, to erase that from your memory. Yep, restart. See how they're going to handle this, if they're going to take it back to center ice. And just one correction from the first period, number 11 for Davis Cardinals. That's Matt DeYoungy, and I was saying that incorrectly, so I apologize, Matt. Anyway, the Vikings and the Cardinals will uh, do over here at center ice. It'll be McMullen against Moore. That puck is knocked down by Fisher Moore. McMullen will get it up the boards, and the Vikings will slap it in, and they'll tag up. Stopping it behind the net is Dominic Wendell. Now Manville, number 15, up the boards to Schmidt. Schmidt to LaFontaine. LaFontaine streaking down the left side. There's a shot wide of the net. Brian Farley gets it out to Fisher Moore. Fisher Moore's got some good speed. Looking out in front for the one-timer. Yeah, he was trying to get a rebound over to Ian Lilly. Oh, more. Nice backhander. Did you see how quick he was getting out from the corner? Yeah, he was trying to hit that top shelf and just put it up into the, the other netting, the netting he didn't want to put it into, no. but and good effort. Yeah, so the faceoff will come out of the blue line because it didn't hit anything but air. <laughs> Alan Shear used to play high school hockey here. Was yep. it two years ago? Mm hmm Yep. He's our linesman tonight. Good to see some of the young people getting into the refing business. Uh, and there definitely is a shortage of referees, Jeff, you know, at all, at all levels. All right, it seems like he played last year, Bill. Like yeah, maybe, it may, it I may have been. I think he did. I, yeah, Allen played last year for sure. Ian Lilly coming in with the puck into the zone. There's a nice blocker save by Wendell. And now the Cardinals will come back the other way. Nice oh. job by Cam Keen on Jeffrey Schmidt. Yep, that was nice. Kind of picked his pocket clean. Uh, He's got to watch out for Schmidt. Keelan was looking for Schmidt on the right side there. Into the corner it goes with Cam Keen and Jeffrey Schmidt. Schmidt tried to center it into the slot. Zach Gizzard and we've got a cross check on Cam Keen and he is not happy with that one, and I don't think the coaches will either. No, nope. so, uh, and he was arguing a little bit. He needs to be careful with that. Yep. So that is going to put the Vikings down a man early. They have already killed off, is it just one, one penalty just one in penalty. the first period? Yep. So I think that was that the only penalty, right? I believe so. The draw is won by Davison. Now McMullen. Back to Graham yeah. and to McMullen. Davison does move the puck well, and oh, oh wow, cross ice, a quick save. shot by, very quick shot by LaFontaine, and Dylan Quartz got over and got the pad on that. He is quick. Man alive, I thought that was a gimme goal. Yeah, that is tough. You know, that's one of the toughest saves for a goalie to make, to, uh, that cross ice pass and to get all the way over. Well, and that's the, the second one, on right, the and ice. that's the second one he's made like that tonight. He yes. made a big save like that earlier. 
So Dylan Quartz giving his team a chance tonight and keeping them in the game here. It could easily be a 2-0 game just on those two plays alone. So you say I have a chance. <laughs> so you say there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting off with a minute 33 to go in the power play. The Cardinals pass goes too far, and Schmidtdale put it down. First one, two, is going to be more, and nice job by Wendell to get that puck over to Graham. Good job by... Fisher more as yeah. he puts some pressure on their defense. Fisher and his hustle, he causes some havoc out there. Here's a cross ice pass to McMullen. He'll stop and set up the power play over to Graham. Graham in the middle, hit the skates of McKinley and it'll come back to McMullen. McMullen to Willett. Now Schmidtdale fighting with Willett in the corner. The Vikings are happy to tie that one up and just choose some time along the boards. Right, they're not going to score from there. Puck is loose somewhere. I saw it move. Going down is LaFontaine in the slot. McMullen shot. He was trying to pick that upper corner, and it'll go out to center ice. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Vikings doing a good job here. Way to go there from Brian Farley as he puts the pressure on Graham and picking it up is Dylan Wendell, but that drop pass didn't go to anybody, so Schmidt will retreat and pick it up. Schmidt, poke checked. Cardinals will dump it in deep. First one to it is McKinley, but good stick work there by the Cardinals to keep it in. Keelan with the shot, easy save for DQ, and he'll hold on to it with six seconds to go in the power play. Do these teams seem evenly matched to you or what? I mean, it, it, they're just, it's... Uh Yep. It's a really well, evenly matched game so far. So no wonder it's 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> yes. And Something's got to break here, though. You know, Jeff, this is why we hire you with this expert analysis. And I love that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, digging deep here. Yeah, okay. it's hard to find guys like me. <laughs> Faceoff is won by the Vikings, and Henry Schmidtdale throws a pass up the middle. Not a good decision there. The Vikings fight off the penalty, so 0-0. Here was 13-15 to go in the second period. Out to center ice. Wendell taking a hit was number 25. That's Patrick Green, and that was Logan Collins that said hello to him. Yeah, and that was just in the nick of time because he had already let the puck go. Right, almost an interference call. It was very close. But another good no call. We'll keep the play rolling, keep the clock going. Ian Lilly puts it in behind the net, stopping it there is Wendell. And now his brother Dylan Wendell up the boards. McMullen chips it over to Schmidt. Schmidt threw it back, attempting to get it to McMullen. And the Vikings are having some trouble here as they had control of it. Got away with one there. Manville up to Schmidt. Schmidt to McMullen, gives it right back to him. He drops it in the slot, but Zach Izzard is there. It's taken away. Vikings get lucky there again as they gave it away in the slot. Zach Izzard with the puck. There's a shot that goes a mile high, and it'll be a face-off deep in the Cardinal zone. All right. Well, I would like to take this opportunity again to thank our sponsors. We have Fox Motors of Cadillac, Cadillac Tire, and we also have Pizza Plus, which... Uh, I had some. I was going to say, game. I thought you were munching on a little bit of that earlier, oh, Bill. Yeah. How's it, how was it? It was uh, absolutely delicious as usual. Thank you to Dave and company down at the uh, Pizza Plus. Yeah, so we got pizza. If they could just throw some tires our way and maybe a free car <laughs> or something, I don't know. Hey, they should all be pitching in a little something, shouldn't we, they? We, we can ask. <laughs> The Vikings behind the net, that's Caleb McKinley. He'll get it over to Jack Schmidtdale. Schmidtdale up the boards and taking his Fisher Moore. He avoids that check. And Moore is working good on the back check and finally it's taken away by Schmidtdale. Schmidtdale with one hand goes around his man. Stops with it, he gets a wrist shot to the front of the net. That's a good play to get that pass all the way through. Good hustle by yeah, Fisher well, Moore. Look at him go around his man. Moore with the puck. He had uh, McKinley open there for a second, but he brought it in deep, and the Cardinals will clear it on a good outlet pass, and it'll come over to Caleb McKinley, who goes down. McKinley 
Yeah, he blew a tire, speaking of tires. The youngie with the shot, and good save by DQ. Opportunistic play there by Matt DeYoungie, and taking it away now is McMullen. McMullen with the shot, and DQ will hold on to it. Yeah, little, they, little they will shoot there. from anywhere. Yep. You know, they're going to take a shot anywhere they can get it. They've got quick snap shots. Faceoff now will be in the Cadillac zone with 10.54 to go. You are watching high school hockey action on Newsnet Sports and CCTV. All right, so good chances going both ways. That shot is blockered away by DQ. and seems like he's getting really comfortable right now. That puck went through amazing oh. players and then shot wide on the rebound. Yeah, that was a close one. They got a big kick off those back boards. In the slot, oh, looking for the beautiful setup to LaFontaine. Schmidt almost had his man. All right, Carson Peedle just got enough stick on him where he interrupted his shot. Keelan will chase it back into his zone. Olivia Peedle giving chase on the four check. We still have a scoreless game here. Good old fashioned, minutes. yeah, goalies duel. It's good to see yep. those once in a while. Poke checked was Austin Kylin, so he'll use his feet and tie that puck up along the boards. Good job oh. to get it back to the point. I think he was hoping for a hooking call there when his stick yes. came undone, but yep. ref not calling that one. Now here comes LaFontaine. That shot ooh, wide of the short side. That was a nice looking shot. Now the Vikings reverse it over to Henry Schmidtdale. He does not put enough on it to clear the zone, so DeYoungie has it. There's a wrister that's deflected, goes into the far corner. Patrick Green, is that number 25? Yep, Patrick Green tried to center it, and here comes Cam Keen, number five. Keen with the puck, tries to get around his man, takes the hit, and now it's at the Schmidtdale, but he loses it, and Graham does not clear. Cam Harold to Izzard, there's a shot high, knocked away by Wendell. Vikings trying to get a little pressure going here. DeYoungie will just flip it up and clear the zone back to center. Nine minutes to go here in the second, still no score. Yeah, and you can tell the coaches have told their players, look, you need to get the pucks towards the net. Shoot, 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 you never know what can happen. We'll dig out some rebounds. You get funny bounces, you just never know. <laughs> yep. both, uh, both goalies are playing very good right yep. now but they haven't had a ton of shots. Oh, oh here's a giveaway in the slot to McMullen, and Dylan Quartz is there to yeah. save the day. That was probably McMullen's best chance of the game. That one was just a little gift. That was gift-wrapped right on his stick blade out in front, and he had time to take a look and pick his spot and everything, but DQ is up for the challenge there. Nice Boys. save by Dylan Quartz. Jeff, as a defense in your heart just sinks when you make that pass, you're like, oh, man, not, on my, not only am I out of position in the corner, but I've just made a pass into the slot. Thank I can't goodness. believe you've ever done that, Bill, have you? Well, most of the time I pass it more to the other team than my team, so I, it, I don't feel bad about it. It's a normal I, thing. Here comes Fisher Moore over the line. Fisher with a shot high over top of the net. He'll chase in after it. Moore back to the point to Schmidtdale. Schmidtdale, it's intercepted, and here coming back the other way is Flynn Crystal. Flynn Crystal, oh, he gets chopped at by Schmidtdale. Goes down. We'll see if there's going to be a penalty shot. Nope. Nope. Did he get just, him from the side? Just giving him a slashing call. He came down on the stick pretty hard. That was a good old-fashioned slash. Yep, he got his money's worth on he that sure one. He did. And certainly interrupted uh, his shot. And it was close, Jeff, to being a penalty shot because he had broken behind the last defenseman and never got a shot off. I'm surprised that they didn't at least consider that. Mm -hmm. Did well, you think there was enough separation uh, for there not to be the call? I mean, what was your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I, I didn't think there was quite enough separation. But okay. um, originally, I mean, he ended up catching him. I don't know. That's a tough one. I, I'm, I don't have to make that call from no. up here. That's no. That's why the Stripes are making the making the calls and making the money for that. All right, the Cardinals will go to work on the power play. Graham over to McMullen. McMullen was looking for Schmidt. That one goes through. Oh, what a huge save there. And the puck is down, and I don't know how he made the save. Yeah, that was a really good opportunity swatting at the puck, and Dylan Quartz got the pads down and kept that one out of the net. He had to reach his left yep. foot back, Jeff, on that play. 
Ooh. All and right. I'll tell you what, DQ has been the difference here in tonight's game so far. Yeah, he really has. I mean, he hasn't had, like you said, he hasn't had to make a ton of saves, but the, the saves that he has made Quality. have been uh, solid, really good. Davidson's had a couple good chances here. All right, this will give us a chance to get uh, our next player profile. Okay, we've got senior Austin Kyling. Austin's parents are Terry Kyling and Candace Kuhn. Austin has two sisters, Haley and Bristol, and two brothers, Reed and Luke. Besides playing varsity hockey, he's the captain of the tennis team. In his spare time, Austin likes to hunt, fish, and hang out with friends. His favorite athlete is Patrick Kane. After high school, he plans on attending Fair State University for accounting or finance. Congratulations to Austin Kyling on being one of our player profiles of the game. There was another chance out front by the Cardinals, and that shot got deflected up into the netting. There's 114 left in their power play, and so far Cadillac is killing yeah. things off here. Yeah, and you had uh, Austin the other night as a pregame guest. And right. Uh, um, yeah, I think the favorite part of that interview was that he's like my height, so I didn't have to like get on my tiptoes and reach way up some of those <laughs> tall guys I can barely reach. <laughs> Uh, Davis, Davis and Cardinals tried to center it, and intercepting in the slot was Cam Harold, and he'll get it out to center. There's a minute to go in the power play, a little over seven to go here in the second period. We are still scoreless from the Wex. Jeff Castillo and Bill Dooley bringing you the action on a Friday night. In the slot that goes past everybody, so having to regroup, Davison will hand it over to McMullen. McMullen, here's a good pass to Schmidt, and that one deflected by Cam Keen yeah. a mile high. Not letting them get a good clean shot in there. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, maybe that should be the determining factor on our interviews, Bill. Just look at the stats and see how tall these guys are. You're going to take the taller players, <laughs> and I'm going to take the more vertically challenged ones like myself and kind of make things match up a little bit easier. It, it <laughs> Took us a little while, but we'll, we'll figure That's it out. That's right. We, I mean, you do what you got to yeah. do. You got to stay in my comfort zone. Puck is won by the Vikings, and Logan Collins puts it around the board. Manville lost it, and here comes Fisher Moore, one on one with Keelan. Fisher Moore cuts to the middle. There's a shot, and glove down, and it's still loose. Yeah. Fisher Moore was. Yeah, not he was stopping. still digging at it. The ref That's lost sight of it, so he got the whistle, but boy, he had that top corner picked, and. Uh, Wendell was quick with the glove. Great hustle there. You could see him looking to get cut back to the middle, get to his forehand. And yeah, he made a great move to allow himself to get a good, clean shot off where it did not get deflected or blocked. Yep. And you can see that, you know, Dominic Wendell, you know, the quality of goal tender he is this year, he, he has been stellar. Yeah, he takes up a good amount of space in there, too. McKinley looking for Moore. Moore goes down, but then gets right back up, and then helping him out is Brian Farley. <laughs> Fisher's playing from his back. He tried to grab it with his hand. <laughs> the Cardinals get it up to center. McKinley up the boards, and he'll clear. Six minutes to go. We are at full strength, 0-0. You can hear assistant coach right. Ryan Welsh giving some directions to the Cardinals. Yeah, and so far we've got ourselves a goaltender's duel. And uh, assistant coach Welch played for Coach uh, Towler, um, I think, seven years ago. Yeah. So he's been on the uh, ever seven or eight years then. ever yeah. since then. So. Isn't that cool? Yep. Here comes Farley over to Ian Lilly. Back to Farley. No, it never got through to him. And directing it to the side was Wendell, and the Vikings misfire on that pass, so they'll have to go all the way down the ice. Logan Collins is being chased by Schmidt. Now Schmidt deal for the Vikings. That puck is just sitting in the middle of the ice, and finally got an offside call as LaFontaine tried to bring it back in. Okay, and we would like to mention again our crew tonight. We've got Hannah Crouch in the... Uh, Van, we had a little mishap with the van, I think, when, uh, with some snow, but they've got that taken care of. Caden Darrow is with us on the uh, camera, and also Damian Brooks tonight. So okay. those three are taking care of the taking care of business for us. 
Owen LaFontaine, number six, has gone for two minutes for tripping, so the Vikings will have their first power play of the game. Okay. And then rifling it down the ice is Manville, number 15, and stopping it there is DQ, who will put it behind the net. The Cardinals will change it up. Now Willett and DeYoungy will be out there as the forwards. Here comes Cam Keen, twisting his way over the line. And we got an offside. Ah. Izzy could not quite hold up. Maybe one too many moves yeah, at the blue line. Yeah, a little line. extra move by the blue line. And that's usually why you want to have somebody standing on the blue line forcing uh, the player to go sideways, yep. hoping for that exactly that to happen. So good job by Davison. So linesman Shear will get the, get the players ready, get the sticks down, and here we go. We have a little over a minute and a half to go in the power play for the Vikings. Not to, that one was offside, yep. All right, they're not getting a lot going here so far. Okay. Yep, want to get that next time, Bill. All righty. Farley and Willett on the faceoff. Puck is right at the blue line, and Davison will clear it down the ice. Minute 20 to go, four and a half to go in the second period. Sounding like a broken record, but we are still scoreless here at the Wex. Well, Cadillac has not been able to get anything going on this power play so far. A couple offsides and a couple iced pucks by Davison in the first minute of the penalty kill. All right, here comes Ian Lilly, number 13, second game back after a long injury. Lilly looking to drop it. He'll take it behind the net. Trying to set it up. It goes back to the point. McKinley kept it in momentarily and he still has it. Good job to keep a hold of that puck. He's got a man out at center if he could get the uh, possession going. Over to Schmidtdale. There's a wrister. Easy save for Wendell. And cleared down the ice by Schmidt. Yeah, good job done so far by Davison's penalty kill. Just 20 seconds left. It's going to give the Vikings one last chance to get a little rush going here. Let's see, they've got uh, Izzy and who else on forward? Uh, Henry Schmidt deal. Henry yep, will drop got it back. Fisher out there. Fisher. Jack Schmidt deal will. Drill it around the boards. First one to it is Izzy. He's got the puck. Looking back to Schmidtdale. They're back at full strength. Schmidtdale. Izzy with the shot, just wide of the net. Henry Schmidtdale tried to get it. Cam Harold goes down, and the puck deflects down the ice. We are even strength. No icing. No. No. Nope. Uh, it looked like it could have been an icing. Jack Schmidtdale. Making his way over the line. Good stick work there. Now it's coming back. Two on Schmidt one. Schmidt and McMullen on a two on one with McKinley. There's a pass, or excuse me, LaFontaine. And great job by Caleb McKinley to break that one up. Yeah, he played that one perfectly. They were not even able to get a shot off. LaFontaine back into the corner, and Caleb McKinley will take it back. Here's Schmidt in the slot. Holds on to it, makes a move, and poke checked by Cam Harold at the last second. And that was a dangerous play coming up. The Vikings turn it over. McBullen looking out in front. There's oh. a one-timer by LaFontaine, but it never got to the net. Rister deflected and net. scored. Yeah, nothing DQ could do about that when it was halfway there before it got deflected and popped up over his shoulder. Boy, we had a beautiful look at that one, didn't we, Jeff? Yeah. And here you saw it move up in the air about halfway down. No prayer whatsoever. Nope. That's the toughest one for a goalie. So with two minutes to go here in the second period, the Cardinals score as they were putting a lot of pressure on throwing the puck at the net. We'll wait to see who got the tip. And yeah, we will get you those. And that was an even strength goal, correct? Yes. Yes. Yep, They're even strength. Puck is knocked down at center. Chasing back after it is Keelan. Keelan with a long pass. It goes to Logan Collins, to Keen, up the boards. Cole Mortensen loses it, and now picking it up is Flynn Crystal. That wrister does not make it through, so Cam Keen will put it back up the boards, stopping it there and making a nice pass is Cole Mortensen. Dylan Wendell over to Keelan. 
Keelan to DeYoungy, and the puck is bouncing around and taken by Carson Carlington, number 10. Carlington does not clear the zone. It's kept in by LaFontaine. He's looking for McMullen. McMullen back to Keelan. All he wanted to do was get that puck through, and that was a good good effort. Yeah, Farley used his feet. There's a shot and a score. A beautiful goal by McMullen, but an even better setup by, I want to say it was LaFontaine. Boy, and all of a sudden, just like that, Davison up two to nothing. Wow. Again, Dylan Quartz had no chance on that cross ice pass. Boy, did he release that thing fast, Jeff. That was a absolute bullet from the bottom of the right circle. Right. First goal was scored by number 17, Jeffrey Schmidt, assist to Brendan Keelan and Dylan McMullen. Okay. McMullen's and McMullen gonna was uh, the goal scorer on that second one with an assist to number 17, Jeffrey Schmidt. Okay, so it was Schmidt who made the cross ice on that one. I thought maybe LaFontaine was in on it. He he did not get a uh, an assist on the second goal, LaFontaine? Nope. Okay. That's not what I have, so. Now LaFontaine made his way right out in front of the net. Going down. I don't know if the net is off the mooring. Yes, it is. 38 seconds to go here in the second. What was a scoreless game from up until the last minute here. Two quick goals by the Cardinals. Yeah, and boy, you, you know, you just you hate to give up those late uh, late goals in a period. So Cadillac is going to have to dig themselves out of a little hole here. Yep, and they've they've been working hard, and, and all mm -hmm. you can tell the players, Jeff, do keep doing what you're doing, and yep. maybe even put a little bit more uh, pressure on. There's oh. Schmidt with a steal and a score. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, That's that was just a bad turnover. And Jeffrey Schmidt made him pay. And uh, what goal is that for Schmidt? I, I might. That's his 20th goal of the season, if our stats are correct. That would be his 20th well, goal. Well, he, he got oh, two he's tonight. Two. He's got, he got the first, and he got this one. All right. And then Mc, uh, Mullen with the other one. And those, those two are their two horses. They have scored the majority of the goals. And you can see for why the Cardinals. You can see why their goal scores with shots like that. Yep. I mean, Schmidt. Snap that one so quickly, lower far corner. That puck is taken by LaFontaine. He'll dump it in deep. Now Schmidt. They're kind of smelling some blood here in the water after those three quick goals. There's a little Ooh. leg thrown out yeah. on that one. Could Careful have been. on the knees. Yes. Nice block by Izzard. Izzy with a good job going down and sacrificing the body. And there goes the buzzer to end the second period as the Cardinals strike like lightning with three goals right in the last two minutes of the period. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, uh, it went from a 0-0 game to a 3 nothing game uh, quickly. Seems yep. like within approximately a minute and a half's worth of time. And the Vikings are uh, going to have to talk that over during the intermission and see what they can do, come out in this third period to change it. All right. The uh, Vikings are down three to nothing, and Jeff and I will be back with third period action. You are watching high school hockey action on Newsnet Sports and CCTV. Stay tuned for third period. 